Hello. Uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel, to Fashion RNs. Um, if you saw the previous one I uploaded, I still look like a dump truck. Anyhow, I put on a cardigan to cover up my tank top because holding up clothes, I realized my armpits were exposed. That is not a cute look um, that I want to show anyone. And it was a little too late. I was already invested in the video. So I just went with it. It is what it is. Anyhow, so um, now I'm recording a video of our garage sale slash diffuse. Um, hold on, let me primp. Let me primp, y'all. Come on now, let me primp. Okay. Um, two uh, of our garage sales slash a couple thrift stores from um, this past weekend um, of things we got. I think we got some really good things. Got some surprises. Um, also, just I'm going to make this disclaimer once again. We have only been doing this, me and my partner, Nicole. For about two months, um, we are RNs by trade, get it, fashion RNs, um, who really just love clothes, um, but uh, it kind of started because we had too many of our own clothes, uh, and as much as we love clothes, you know, three to four days a week, we're wearing scrubs for 14 hours, and then anyone that works 12s, um, wink, that's not really a 12-hour shift, and are probably nurses or any other high stressful job know that at least one of those days you don't want to do nothing and if you can just stay in jammies all day perfect so you know you mask these clothes the things you think you're going to wear somewhere and then honey you never go nowhere you don't you just stay in the house with your slippers and your sweatpants or yoga pants and uh don't even fix your hair so we were trying to figure out what we do with these clothes we found out about poshmark started selling it and then we realized hey you know, maybe we can do something with this, you know, it's a part-time resale. So that's kind of what we started. We still have a lot to learn. We pick up duds all the time. We just know this is going to sell and then it sits. Um, but we've had found some great things too. So, you know, um, anyhow, I guess without further ado with that preface of uh, where we stand, let me go ahead and start this. Hi, Nicole. Um, she, she doesn't want to be on camera. Um, I don't necessarily want to be on camera either, but I guess I'm a little more extroverted than she is, so I'm doing this. Um, but hi, Nicole, you better watch this because I will be texting you the link to the YouTube channel, and you better be liking and subscribing. Okay, here we go. Let's start. First, we'll start with a um, White House Black Market Blazer. Um, you guys, people always, I hear people, hold on, let me fix it. What am I doing? Let's make it pretty. People talking on, on like the YouTube vloggers that they don't really pick it up, that they pass by it. We seem to have really good luck with this brand. We've sold a lot of great pieces. Um, I don't know if it's just because we are indeed lucky enough to come across really good pieces. Um, but uh, this is just great. This is perfect for a career. It's a, it's a pretty oatmeal color, fully lined. Some shoulder pads up there, peplum bottom cinched waist there snatch that waist girl snatch it anyhow so hoping to get about 30 for that i really do that's actually a very nice piece in great condition let's keep it moving let's keep it moving with the white house black market we ran across a lot of it <laughs> this here is a once again a little structured um blazer it is a open front um kind of a tannish not quite as oatmeal-y as the other one i'd say almost an off-white um Light, lighter weight um, blazer. It's not quite as structured as the previous one. It's got this cool stitching though, like shoelace stitching. I don't know what you call that, but it runs throughout the jacket. I think it's a little nice surprise. Size zero, and then it has it there as well. So, you know, 20, 25 for that piece. We'll see. As always, I say we'll see because it literally gets down to, well, we'll see. <laughs> uh, next, um, let me pick that up. Y'all don't be judging my house right now. I need to clean. Okay, but I'm making videos instead. So don't be looking around and saying, girl, there's something back there on that table. There's a lot of stuff back there that I shoved out of the way. Anyhow, this is a open front cardigan. Long, long, long. It's the waterfall effect, I guess, or asymmetrical. Look at that. It's kind of got that Aztec feel to it. Aztec print with the fringe. Kind of a poncho print feel to it. It's got uh, this peach and gray, white. It is by, uh, I guess I should tell you that piece as well. It is by Day Trip, which is a buckle brand. Although I do think, uh, I do think a couple other places sell it. Um, and then on the back, this is great print. This is great for fall, you guys. Fall and winter. Um, very light, extra small. 
Although I do think, you know, it's one of those that it has some room in it that, uh, you know, even a, a size medium wink girl like myself actually was able to wear it. Or not wear it, but I, when I tried it on, it fit. So there's that. <laughs> Next up, we sticking with this White House kids. I need, I, I need to steam this. So I haven't done that yet. Don't judge me. Okay, so this is a White House Black Market. I don't know what you'd call this little trap jacket, I guess. Oh, it really does need to be steamed. That's a shame. You can't really tell in here. Um, but as you can see, absolutely nothing because I'm just flinging it around. One sleeve. It, it is uh, can be long sleeve, or I said it's more three-quarter length sleeve. That can be rolled up. I think the style is more meant to be rolled up and snapped. Um, it's got the uh, elastic waistband here very 80s very much those track suits that are somehow coming back around y'all i thought we got rid of those but everything old is new again i suppose um i am not doing a good job of showing this one at all it's kind of hard to show without it being on a person it's got the um zipper here and then it's got the snap closure you can snap it all the way up to the neck the hood is cool so you've got your regular hood there, but then it's got this elastic to keep it closer to your head, which, you know, I guess if the wind's going to blow you away in it, there you go. Keep it on your head. So anyways, it's a super cute piece, hoping to get, uh, we'll say 25, 25, 20, 25. Of course, if it's bundled, it's always a little less. You know how that goes. Next up, Altered State. Um, and there's a lot of this on Poshmark too, but this one was really pretty. Needs to be steamed. Sorry, kiddos. Um... And it's that vibrant lilac, I'd say. It's a very pretty pattern. It's that blouse front with a crisscross there. Um, a little longer in the back. And then, of course, we've got the uh, little button there. Little button. Little button. It's cute. Yeah, maybe 10. Well, we'll say maybe 12 to 15. I'm really, you know, I've only been to Altered State once um, with my friend Nicole. <laughs> Who took me there i wasn't really familiar with her clothing until she got me out there it's cute stuff y'all cute um i am really embarrassed that i did not steam some of this stuff before showing god i hope it shows well um next up we have an urban outfitters um moonstruck surplus romper now look y'all i can't wear a romper to save my life i have tried i end up looking like a gremlin or something um, they do not suit my body type <laughs> whatsoever. This is definitely an open front, loose front. Does have snap closure there. Um, or not snap, I lied to you. Hook and eye. A hook and eye closure for the front. It's got that drop waist, smocked waist or the back. Um, very loose leg opening, but they are lined. So I really see a cute uh, college girl wearing that or in that age group. We'll say 18 to 20. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I just think, to, I don't know. I don't have, I, I'm lucky, you know, I, if I had daughters, I, I'd be really concerned about fashion for them. Um, just because some of it is so, um, let's show it all. And I digress. Y'all don't want to hear me preach about how to dress your kids. Y'all know how to dress your kids. Okay. Next up, this is another um, Urban Outfitters romper. It is actually called Cooperative, which is their brand. It's a higher end brand that they have. Once again, need to steam this sucker. This is a linen blend. Um, pinstripe, button down, full button down, um, romper, halter. Some of the stuff will probably sit, I would think, probably till spring. But they were just so cute, I couldn't pass them up. Look at the back, little smocked waistband. This is really cute. If I were to be able to wear a romper style, this would probably be something I could possibly pull off. If I could pull off a romper, just because it doesn't have that smocked waistband. Something about that waistband being there hits me in the weirdest places. And uh, it is not cute. Um, next up, you know, Chico's. Chico's, Chico's, Chico's. I have a couple of Chico's things. They're an expensive store, relatively, I guess. You know, it's not like you go into pennies when you go to Chico's. You know, their stuff doesn't really tend to sell that great. Um, and they got that weird sizing, vanity sizing. But this I thought was cute. This is their no iron. They lied. Okay, let's be honest. Let's be honest. This this was ironed. <laughs> and I folded it up and now look at all the creases. I'm selling them. I'm telling on my product. Uh, anyhow, so it is a button down. Let me just button a couple buttons so you can actually see. Um, see what's going on with this. 
It is a button down, no iron from the no iron brand. Um, very vibrant colors in it. It's black and white pinstripe. Um, there we go. I didn't get an idea. But what really, what I really liked about this was the sleeve. Now that's cute. Stop it. Stop it with the sleeve. I love a good bell sleeve. I mean, I tend to gravitate towards them in my picks, so. And I'm glad that they're, they're really trendy. And I think they're so feminine. It always adds a little extra something to an outfit or a shirt if you've got a bell sleeve. Just very romantic. Okay. Next up, uh, I gotta reach. I didn't plan this well, you guys. Don't mind me. Technical difficulties. Hey, I'm learning. I'm still learning how to do this. Okay, got some Joe's jeans. Um, these are Joe's white jeans. They are a mid mid rise. No, I think they're high rise. I want to say I measured these at seven. So seven, I think, is a mid rise. Cropped leg. Um, just some cute jeans. Probably will sit. Uh, you know, these probably will sit towards the summer time. Started getting in the fall. Nobody wants to wear white. And these were a size 25, I think. Yep, 25. Maybe get 25 to 30 for Joe's jeans. Um, sometimes I think, oh, I'll wait to the end to show you that. All right, speaking of white, we have some AG by Adriano Goldschmied. This is a very new to me brand. I was not even truly aware how popular this brand was. I didn't know them. Um, just goes to show you what I know. Um, I, I order from Stitch Fix a lot, and my jeans come from Stitch Fix because I can try them on at home and, and then hate how they fit at home because we all know how hard it is to find jeans. But uh, anyhow, this is the Stilt Cigarette Leg. It is a higher rise. Um, very sexy jean. I think for the right girl, the right young woman, these would be hot, y'all, uh, with a little shimmery top on, on top. These are 25 regular. Hoping to get 25 to 30 for this pair. Cute jeans. Okay. What's up next? We're going to stick with jeans for a hot minute. Okay, uh, cabby. Cabby does okay, I guess. Um, this is a cabby. They're modern, modern camo print. I mean, it's, it's, it's cute, right? It's cute. Um, these are size four. Um, high rise. These are definitely high rise. Actually, technically, I think they're jeggings. They were marketed on their site as jeggings. So those are a good jegging for fall. So you can modernly go out and hunt or something because they're modern camo. What is that? We'll wait on that one. This one here, um, this is so cute. This is a buckle top. Um, I just think this is darling. A flounce top, sort of, if I can get it tied and get my get my act together. You could tell I've only done, this is only my second video. I'm not organized. I'm sure some of the other vloggers have already done all this. and I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. Let's get there. Losing it, y'all. Losing interest. Okay. Uh, buckle top. This is so cute. Look at there. It's sheer overlaid a lining. Look at that sleeve. How cute. How cute. How cute. It's a very full sleeve, too, like that. Um, that really, look at the back, the ties there in the back, nice dark deep back, this would be great to wear to the club y'all, it's kind of that nude color, nude like you showing something but you're really not, anyhow, hoping to get 15 to 20 for that, piece, the weight on that one, eh. alright, another uh, White House Black Market, um, was this one? Hold up. Let me make sure this one wasn't silk. I want to say this one is silk. I lied. It's not silk. Okay, so White House Black Market, Cami, work, career work. You know, perfect for the office. Pretty color. It's that pretty rose color. Um, and, oh, it's got a little print. It's like a cheetah print, but it's not, obviously. I, you need to be able to see it. See what I'm saying? But it's not. But it is. Anyhow, 15, 
pony for this little cute piece. And then I think that's the end of those. those. Oh, one more piece here. Let me see more after that. This here, um, Hudson Jeans. Once again, brand I'm not real familiar with, but apparently, y'all, yeah. no, goodness gracious. I'm talking about hiding stuff. Woo. Sorry. Merry Christmas. Okay. Um, these are Hudson Signature Jeans. Mid-rise boot cut. These are new with tags. Dark wash. Full boot cut there. Um, I think it's, what I like about them is the back. The flat, um, back flat pockets. They have, they're made in the USA, but they have a nice little English emblem. I don't get it. Um, now I will say, these are 29s. I wear a 29 jeans. Um, and I hope I'm not taking away from possibly selling these to someone. But I just want to be honest. I couldn't get these over my ankles. That's a bit dramatic. But I really couldn't. They definitely run small. Um, I'm not sure which 29 they measure in. But I named my 29. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you're if anyone is interested. I'd hate for someone to order these. And then get them home. Because this, you know, this is a pricey pair of jeans here. And uh, then they just absolutely not fit. Like, I would be really upset about that. Not that it would be necessarily me. Because I got the measurements on there. But it's hard. You know, you see the number. Like, I always wear 29 in these brands. I would just hate that for someone. So, just please be advised. Okay. <laughs> Hoping to get mm, 40 to 50 for those. Let's see. Okay. So, the last little bit here. Um, I, I picked up at, at a yard sale. Uh, well, not really a yard sale. A young lady was just selling some of her things online. And I decided to go check her out. Um... I don't know much about uh, Lululemon, Lululemon. I really don't. Um, so I was excited to get my hands on some pieces, and she had some. So I was like, sweet. So I came over and looked. Um, so first up, we have this. Presence of Mine, I do believe, is the exact name of this coat. Um, and it is very Lululemon. It is a in the darkest cranberry. It's got the ruching here on the sleeves. Got a little cool zipper. A little cool zipper on that sleeve too. It's heavy, heavy duty. It is fleece lined. There is some wear. Um, and it's not awful. And honestly, I bet if I, you know, I mean, the, the wear I would say would be typical. It's not matted. Let me say that. It's a high pile fleece, but that wear is not like a mat, like someone's worn it so much it's matted. You know, um, it would not prevent me, say, if this were my size, for me snatching this up at a good price and buying it for myself on Poshmark. But I just, just want to say that. So the cool thing about this jacket, and it's probably going to be hard for me to show you, um, is that it can be worn many ways. So it can be worn open, like kind of like a waterfall cardigan, or it can be crossed over like that, and it snaps in the back, so you got more of like a structured, asymmetrical look. You can just then just maybe we just won't tuck it. We don't want to snap all the way in, okay? Maybe I don't want to be all the way snapped and you can kind of tuck it so it's not quite as tight back there. This jacket is awesome. Um, I mean, it really is. I believe if I'm not mistaken, this jacket was almost $300 new. Um, I am asking or I'm hoping to get 40 to 50 for it. And that's the only because, I mean... Some of the fleece, and mainly what I'm talking about is on the inside of the arms, you know, just because someone's worn it a few times, and that's going to happen. Otherwise, you know, I'd probably be asking more, um, but 40 to 50 for this piece. Color is, as you can see, it's got that dark cranberry with some more red trim. I hope that's reading true to count color. Anyhow, that's a great piece, so hopefully somebody will have that for winter. Next. <sighs> I got a designer piece. I don't think she's considered like a high, high-end designer. I think more like a mid-range, but I don't care. I got her piece. I love her. Uh, Diane Von Furstenberg. I got her new with tags. Um, it is a silk camisole. Look at there. Christmas is coming, kiddos. Christmas is coming. Somebody would love this piece. Anyhow, it's a double layered, as you can see. Kind of swoopy there. Um, I do think it runs small, um, just from reviews I'd read on it. It says it's a size 2. I feel like a size 2 could wear this if they were flat chested. Um, and I've actually put her on my dress form, who was a size 2, just to get some good pictures. And y'all, it was a tight squeeze. Um, so, and my dress form ain't like she's walking around with double D size breasts, okay? So, I would feel like if you 
are well endowed. This may not be the top for you, okay? Um, I mean, maybe maybe it is. Maybe it is. Who am I to tell? Who am I to judge? Girl, where would you want? If you feel good, if you love it, I like it. Anyhow, hoping to get uh, 50 to 60 for that. Next up, um, let's see. We have an Athleta dress. Um, I believe... Oh, I knew the name of it and I can't remember it. Anyhow, it's uh, marketed as a dress that you throw on after you work out. Go put your dress on, girl. Now you can go run some errands, okay? You done lifted. You done ran. You done ran and now you deserve to feel good, okay? Put on your dress. A little sheer top there. It's fitted up underneath, though. Um, I don't know if it's catching in the light. There's the fitted piece underneath. So you still feel cute, you know, because we all want to feel cute even when we work out. That's probably why Lulu... Did I say Athleta? No, this is Lulu Lamon. Girl. Um, we all want to feel cute after we work out, right? That's why we work out. No, we work out for the health benefits. <laughs> Anyhow, so cute piece, great color. It's like a dusty rose muted mauve. Very trendy right now, that color is. And this, my friends, it's probably a size two because the little girl who sold it to me is a size two. It's size two. Okay, hoping to get uh, 40 for that. I do think this is actually still on their website, so I'm just saying. Last but not least, okay. Like I said, I don't know anything about Lululemon, although I'm learning quickly. So I received this piece. Um, I was like, it's a tank, right, from the same little girl. It's a tank. It's a tank. Okay, I'll take it. Yes, honey. Yes, put that in my little bundle there. Um, and I was just happy to have some Lululemon. So look at it, that little front. It's got a kind of a peplum, but flat front to it, a little crisscross there in the back, and in the back's more of a bustle, you know, so I got a list of things, this one is actually already listed, there's a few pieces that are already up, I go to, you know, and I can't find any comps, I can't find anything like it, and so I start running across a couple that finally fit it, and that are it by the picture, because there's two different styles of this peplum top, there's one that's more of an accordion um, pleat, and these are the wider pleat. And uh, the ones like this, uh, the couple that I did run across, they asked uh, like $100 and it sold. And I was like, what? I must be missing something. Um, and I started doing some research and found out that this is an extremely rare top. Um, obviously, she didn't know what she had. I certainly didn't know what I had. I just thought I was going to list it for like 30 <laughs> and hope for the best. Um, but it's a very rare top. The top, the bodice portion is in their Luxtreme fabric. And then the bottom is in the, uh, the Swiftly fabric. It does have um, removable um, cups for support. Some meshing in there to keep you nice and dry. It's got a little hidden pocket. Anyhow, so I do have this listed already. Um, and I'm hoping to get 70 to 80 for this. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Um, but yeah, anyhow, that's all I have for this little video. I might do another one later. I have a thread up box coming. It better we get here. It's a coach bags. And I kind of want to do that and open it with y'all. Um, anyhow, so if you see something you like, um, be sure and come check out our closet. Um, I'll try to post the link, um, in the comment section for y'all to come see. Um, and if you, you know, let me know, hey, I watched your video. I'll give you a little friends and family discount. Um, Nicole, once again, this goes to you, boo. You better, Pookie, you better be watching these videos and liking and sharing and subscribing. And I encourage everyone to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, be kind. I'm new to this. Um, and you know what? It, 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 it's hard to fill space. And no, fill space. Fill, spread it out. Try to find things to talk about. But I like clothes, so I can talk about that. Um, all right. So please, yeah, like, subscribe, share. Um, leave me a comment and uh, you guys have a great day. Oh, also, as always, we're our ends. Don't say hold my beer. That'll end up in the hospital. Okay, anything that requires that's going to get you in the ER. All right, so stay safe. All right, bye.